Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, please remember to do so now. We've got loads and loads of comparisons and reviews on the way. This video is going to be the Balenciaga Tracks compared with the Balenciaga Track 2s. This is a question we get asked a lot, saying which one's better. Um, but it basically is just personal preference. So I'm going to share with you the comfort the popularity the style and how much both of them are and basically you can decide yourself which ones are better so let's get into the video so the first thing we're going to look at or talk about is just comfort so personally i think the comfort of the balenciaga track ones are more comfortable than the track twos so if you look at the track ones they're just a lot more padded they've got a lot more basically material going around your foot when it's inside they're a lot chunkier because of all the material if you look at the track twos they're a lot slimmer and even the materials themselves are a lot thinner and also you can see that you you've, you've got like holes where you can see your feet inside of so your whole foot isn't covered at all times so in terms of how much the shoe hugs your foot basically or how much warmth and how much um, padding your shoe uh, your foot has got the balenciaga track one definitely definitely wins on that front if you talk about like how the shoe moves and how flexible the midsole is they're both the exact same they both have the exact same midsole the only thing different on it is if you see this little tab at the back here on the track ones it's just more of a stock matte color whereas on the track twos they're a metallic color and that just goes across all the track ones and the track twos that's the only difference and um, within the midsole so if you wanted to pick one of these completely down to comfort that you weren't bothered about how the shoe looked and you were only bothered about the comfort of the shoe i would definitely recommend the track ones the next thing that we're going to talk about is the style and the look of them like I was saying, with to do with the comfort, the track ones are a lot more of a chunky shoe. There's a lot more material on there. If you watched our last video of the track two review, somewhere about a month, two months ago, um, I think there was 176 panels on the shoe, and that is a lot. But I feel like there's even a lot more going on with the track ones, even though that sounds a lot with the track twos. If you look at them, then they don't look as messy. The track ones are a very messy shoe. You can also look at the lace set on the track ones. The laces on the track ones are insane. We've done a video on our TikTok, which we sped up, and I think it was still a minute long. I think it was like five, six minutes to lace a pair of shoes, which is a long, long time. The track twos have a very structured lace set. Um, it's a lot easier to look, and the shoe itself just doesn't look anywhere near as messy. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is price and the price ranges depending basically on what website you buy them from so you've got your track twos which you can get for about 595 to 695 and then you've got your track ones which you can get from 615 to 695 so they are pretty much the exact same price i don't think price is going to affect basically which shoe you get so overall my recommendation between the track two and the track one I am a bit biased towards the track one because when they first came out, I wasn't into them. But then when we started getting more and more of them in, I proper fell in love with them. And this was when other people weren't that kind of into them either, but I proper liked them. A lot more people are into them now and a lot more people wear these. But I've also seen a lot of people wear these. So in terms of popularity, I'd say just like the price, they're just as equal as each other. I think the track ones are a lot messier the track twos are a lot more subtle a lot thinner but i just don't like the fact you can see your feet in them so if i was to pick between the track twos and the track ones i would pick the track ones and it's down to the reason that they're a lot like the triple s which i like with the number at the front you've got the balenciaga branding on the tongue you've got balenciaga on the side you have got this on the track two with the Balenciaga on the side here. You got track two on the tongue, but it's just it's still a little bit different. It's just, they're just not as my style as the Balenciaga track ones are. And also 
you can see your feet in them, which again, if you're wearing them in the cold, if you're wearing them in the rain, your feet are just gonna get wet and cold. And why would you wanna be basically walking around in stuff that's gonna make your feet wet and cold? So that is basically the sum up of the Balenciaga Track 2 versus the Balenciaga Track 1. Let me know in the comment section which one you would prefer. And again, I'm not saying one's better than the other because I don't think they are. I'm just saying I like the Balenciaga Track 1s better. And I can tell already a lot of people are going to go, none of them, they're both ugly. But yeah, it's whatever you like. If you want to hit the subscribe button, that would be very kind of you. If you want to share this video to your mates, to your family, to absolutely anybody who's maybe interested or is torn between the Track 1s and 2s, that would also be great as well. Thanks for watching and we will be back with another review or comparison in a few days time. Thanks for watching and I see you next time.